Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to have an introduction to the OpenCV CUDA module uh, that we've been talking about here on the channel. So in this video here, we're just going to have this short uh, introduction. I'm going to show you some of the documentation of the CUDA module. We're going to go through uh, some of the videos that we're going to go, uh, go over throughout this tutorial here. So we have a number of different kind of tutorials or like videos in this tutorial. And then I'll show you different kind of stuff like, for example, stereo vision, basic Im image operations, optic detection and so on and how we can speed up the process by using the OpenCV CUDA module instead of only using the CPU as we've been used to uh, throughout like the whole channel and, and the other videos in the computer vision tutorial. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server, I'll link to it down in the description here. You can come join the channel, chat with us about computer vision, artificial intelligence, deep learning and so on. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee and everything. We go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So first of all here, when we actually like have this short introduction, let's talk about like some of the differences between the CPU and the GPU, because if we actually like have some real time applications or we just want to speed up our methods and processes uh, in our own computer vision projects, and we just want to like learn how to actually like, use a GPU instead of only using the CPU, uh, then we actually have a comparison uh, here about, uh, about the speed and like the speed up here for some of the different kind of methods uh, or like computer vision techniques that we can use. And we're going to go through uh, a lot of these different kind of things here as well throughout the tutorial. So remember to hit the subscribe button under the video as well. And also the bell notification. So you get a notification when I upload a new video in this OpenCV CUDA tutorial. But first of all, also, if you haven't installed OpenCV with GPU support, I also have like both videos for Python and OpenCV here on the channel. And if we're going to follow the videos here, I'm both going to do it in C++ and Python, but the method is kind of the same here. So it doesn't really matter. You just, it's, it's just a way that we're actually like accessing the methods or like calling the methods in the API. So here we have a comparison of, we have a, a Tesla uh, GPU here. Uh, where we're actually comparing it to like a core i5 um, CPU here from Intel. And then we can see the speed up process here for some of the different kind of computer uh, vision methods and areas that we have. So we both have some like primitive image processing, uh, which can speed up the process a lot by using the GPU, because that is often just different kind of like image pro processing techniques where we're looking like pixel by pixel. And then we're actually like just doing some processing to that image which we can speed up by like up to 30 times here compared to if we're using a CPU. If you're looking at stereo vision, which is a really nice and cool topic that we have talked about a lot here on the channel and we made some nice and cool projects where we try to estimate the depth to different kind of optics as well. So we can also actually speed up the process of stereo vision with a GPU compared to a CPU. And later throughout the tutorial, we're going to use uh, stereo vision with GPU where we're going to create actual like uh, depth maps or like disparity maps and then we can convert that into depth map. So we actually like have uh, information about our environment and also like the distance to the different kind of objects that we have in the image frame. We also have some pedestrian de 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 detection here with the hawk. So we can actually like do background segmentation uh, as well. And we can speed up the process by up to eight times. We also have the face detector here, Viola Jones, if you're using the hard cascades as we're going to do as well. And also just if you want to have some key point descriptors like surf key points and stuff like that, we can speed up the process a lot. But in the first couple of videos, we're going to focus more about like the primitive image processing techniques and how we can use those methods from OpenCV CUDA module. So if we just start into the OpenCV official documentation here, as we've seen in a lot of the other videos, we can go into the modules page up here. So we can just tip tap the modules and then we get all the different kind of modules that we actually like have in OpenCV. I'm using 4.5.2 and this is the version that I've installed in the previous videos. But down here, we can actually see we have this CUDA accelerated computer vision uh, module. And when we hit here, it will just have this kind of like drop down menu. We can see we have like a core part. We have some different kind of operations on mazes that we can do background segmentation, uh, as we just saw in the comparison of both the CPU and the GPU. We have some video encoding, decoding, feature detecting and description, image filtering, image processing and stuff like that. And then like the more uh, cool and nice stuff regarding projects and applications with object detection, optical flow, like stereo correspondence when we're talking about stereo vision to estimate depth and also using multiple cameras to actually like get, get that depth, um, depth information in our images. We're also going to have some image warping um, and stuff like that. 
But here we can actually go in each of these modules and see like the documentation. We can see all of the methods and functions that is implemented. In this video, we're going to focus on the core part, how the data structure is actually like structured so we can upload our matrix to the GPU and how we can actually use the GPU to do all the processing on our computer. And then we're also going to talk a bit about operations on images, how we can do like per element operations, matrix reductions, and just different kind of like operations element wise on the matrices and how we can just use matrices in general on the GPU. So in the last part of this video here, I'm actually just going to go into one of these modules so you can see how the documentation is actually like structured and how we can go in yourself, use the documentation to see what different kind of input parameters does the methods take and also what is the output, what does the different kind of my methods do and also sometimes there's a short description of what the algorithm actually like does. So here we can just go in, for example, in the core operation on matrices we have all of these different kind of things. So first of all, we have like these classes with the lookup table. We have the functions. We can see the return types and stuff like that. So we have some different kind of functions or like methods that we're going to use throughout this video. I'm going to show you how we can use the merge and the split here. So we can actually like, if we have multiple channels or we have a color image, how we can actually like split those channels into, into like matrices by, the, the, by themselves. If we want to do some operations with each of the individual channels in our image. And then later on, how we can actually like merge the images or like the channels to get there again. We can also do some transpose if we want to transpose our matrix uh, and stuff like that. So it's not only on images, but it's just on matrices in general and how we can use different kind of operations on those. But if you just go down to the documentation here, uh, we're just going to take, for example, the merge here. So we can see here, it makes a multi-channel matrix out of several single channel matrices. So after we split up our matrix into, for example, like three single channel matrices, we can do operations on each of the, each of the individual um, channels. And then later on, we can use this merge function or method here, which just takes this multiple, uh, multiple, multiple channel uh, matrix out of these several single channel matrices. So we see here that we take an input, so it will either be an array or like a vector of soft, ma soft matrices. And then we also need to specify the number of soft matrices. So if we, for example, have three, we'll just have a vector here with each of the individual single channel matrices. And then we'll just specify a number three, the destination matrix where we want to store uh, the, the matrix with our three channels. And then at the end here, we can just do some like stream, which is just set equal to, to zero here or to null as standard. So this is the way the documentation is, is structured. You can go in and read it yourself. Uh, when I'm going through the tutorial, I'll, uh, I'll do references to the, to the actual like documentation here. Um, and also so we can see how we actually like do it. And also sometimes we have some different kind of flags that we can set. Like for example, if we're doing uh, stereo revision and stuff like that, we have some different kind of flags that we can set, but also the data, the data structure or like the data type uh, that we're working with. Not all, uh, not all actually like data types is implemented here on the GPU that we can use on the CPU. So sometimes you actually like have to go in here and see that we only support one, three and four channel images with these different kind of like data, data types here. So we have like CV uh, and, and an eight bit unsigned integer, 16 bit unsigned mm -hmm. integer and so on. We also have the 32 point uh, a floating point value here, but we can use, um, we can use like really the data, data types that is not implemented here, but some of those data types, we can actually like use those with the CPU. So we need to make sure uh, that we're using the right data types or we can really run our, uh, run our code and that is often the error that we get by using OpenCV with the GPU support or like the CUDA uh, CUDA module is that we're not using like the correct data type or like that data type or method and how we would do it in, in, the, in this with the CPU it is not implemented in the GPU so we need to make sure uh, that we're on top of that so that's pretty much it for this inter short introduction here to the CUDA module I'm really excited to get started with it we can do some a lot of different kind of like cool applications where we're speeding up the process of the methods that we have uh, like been used to to use with the CPU. So for now we can actually like get up to like 20, 30 times uh, faster algorithms running on our computer if we have a GPU, but make sure that you have installed um, OpenCV with GPU support um, as I've made videos out about both in Python and C++. So you can follow along with these tutorials, like all of the code here and all of the examples will be available in my GitHub. So you can just go into the GitHub download the code, copy paste it, and you can just play around with it yourself and run the scripts or like the code uh, by yourself and see how it actually works. But in the first couple of videos, as I said, we're going to focus on like the core part and operation on matrices. And then we're going to have a video uh, for each of these individual like subclasses or sub modules that we have here 
um, in OpenCV. So we're both going to both do image processing, optic detection, stereo vision with GPU and a lot of stuff like that. We're going to have each of, an, an individual video for those. And then at the end, uh, after the tutorial here, I'm actually like going to merge all of the videos together so we can create like just l one long course or like one long sequence that you can go into and use as a reference later on. And then I'm just going to structure it in that way um, where I'm going to reference, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, the, theory, uh, the theory behind some of the algorithms. And then I'm just going to make references to the uh, documentation. I'm going to show you how we can actually like, use the documentation before we're going into the code and implementing uh, the stuff because it is really important that we learn to use the documentation as well while we're actually like uh, making our programs or uh, and our applications, specifically when we're going to use the GPU because not everything is implemented for the GPU and it's just for like compatibility. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here so we'll get a notification when I upload new videos in this tutorial here because again, I'm just really excited for it. It just makes our applications and projects so much faster, it's so nice. But if you're interested in knowing more about like uh, computer vision with CPU and also the theory behind a lot of the different kind of like image processing techniques, stereo vision, uh, camera calibration, image filtering, how they it actually like works under the hood and how these different kind of like methods that we're just going to use throughout the tutorial works. I'll link to that computer vision tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.